Hello YouTube! I know this isn't the blind eye tutorial, but that one's going to take a little while for me to make and get up because it's pretty complicated and it's hard to keep it all straight in your head when you're doing the tutorial and stuff, so it might be a bit choppier than normal. So, to hold you over until next time, I know this video is late and I'm sorry, but I'm going to show you a really cool feature based on a question that one of you beautiful people ask and that is how to create a macro. Now what is a macro? That is when you have a node tree, similar to this one, that you want to save and be able to apply as one node to multiple different projects. And if you watched my WhipCut tutorial, which you can click on the screen to go and see now, um, then you will know what this is. This is my WhipCut. So, we want to take this effect and be able to apply it to other fusion files and to do that we are going to select all the nodes involved right click go up to macro create macro and then it will bring up the macro editor tool and you're going to choose your macro name so like whip cut and I did this test a couple times so this for me would be whip cut 3 and then we're going to go down here and choose what controls we want like, do we want to have a center, flip vertical, flip horizontal, et cetera, et cetera. We're going to open up common because this is going to be most of the tools that you're going to need to use. Like blend, um, do, 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 motion blur, stuff like that. This is just an example. You might want to have mask layers, et cetera. And after that, we're going to go to file, save as, click cut three, save, close. And now... If we want to add that tool, we're going to go to Add Tool, Macros, Whip Cut 3. And there it is. It's right there. And then we can plug in our footage to it and see what happens. As you see, it looks exactly like our node tree. But now we have this extra tool, this motion blur, which actually makes it look a little bit better. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this useful. And you can do this for any size node tree and just make your own tools, basically, in Fusion. It's just a really handy thing to know. And thank you to the person who asked, whose name I will mention now, that I totally have not forgotten and I'm not looking up as I freeze a frame on the screen. So thank you to Arwikra. Arwikra. I'm sorry I can't pronounce your name <laughs> but thank you for commenting and if you guys have any questions comment below i love hearing from you guys and seeing what i need to make videos on and what questions you guys have so until next time go make something awesome i'll see you then